South Korea has taken a decisive step in fortifying its missile shield by awarding Hanwha Aerospace a contract valued at 198.6 billion won, about $145.5 million, for the next-generation LSAM-2 interceptor program. Commissioned by the country's Agency for Defense Development, ADD, the agreement tasks Hanwha with full system integration, including prototype launchers and validation of new technologies. Development will run through 2028, targeting unprecedented altitudes for missile interception, well above the stratospheric limits of current systems. The LSAM-2 interceptor marks a major leap forward from its predecessor, aiming to neutralize high-arc ballistic threats that current platforms can't effectively reach. Designed to engage enemy missiles in near-space conditions, the system's capabilities surpass those of the initial LSAM, which operates at altitudes between 40 and 60 kilometers. The new platform will potentially engage threats up to 180 kilometers above Earth, rivaling the United States THAAD system in operational altitude and threat envelope. A critical innovation in both LSAM and LSAM-2 platforms is the Divert and Attitude Control System, DACS. This subsystem uses a network of 10 miniature rocket nozzles distributed around the interceptor's kill vehicle, providing the micro-adjustments necessary for a kinetic hit against fast-moving ballistic targets. Traditional aerodynamic control methods don't work at such extreme heights due to thin atmospheric density, making DACS indispensable. Its presence signifies a high degree of technological sophistication, an area mastered by only a few countries globally, including the US and South Korea. With LSAM-2, Seoul seeks to cap off its Korea Air and Missile Defense KMD, strategy a multi-layered air defense network that incorporates a hierarchy of intercept systems, each targeting different missile types and trajectories. While lower-altitude threats are countered by KM-SAM batteries and US-made Patriot systems, and medium-tier risks are addressed by the existing LSAM, the LSAM-2 fills the top-tier role by intercepting missiles during their mid-course phase at the highest altitudes. It is also designed to function in parallel with US THAAD units already deployed on the Korean Peninsula, providing a dense, overlapping net of protection. The project's technical backbone is underpinned by enhanced propulsion mechanisms capable of delivering interceptors into the exosphere at rapid speeds. These thrust systems must be powerful and responsive enough to reach targets hundreds of kilometers away within seconds, before the missile descends into its terminal phase. This new requirement reflects the reality of shorter missile warning times and increasingly evasive enemy warheads equipped with decoys and maneuverable re-entry vehicles. Radar and sensor technologies integrated into the LSAM-2 suite allow early detection, long-range tracking, and real-time classification of hostile projectiles. These systems are tightly connected to a fast-reacting command and control core that digests radar data and initiates kill decisions within fractions of a second. The launcher component is designed for mobility, ensuring that the system can be redeployed quickly across varied terrain and remain functional even in hostile or contested zones. From now until the 2028 deadline, Hanwha and ADD will conduct rigorous field trials to validate the system's components and real-world reliability. These live-fire scenarios will simulate combat conditions and test the system's readiness for actual deployment. Lessons from the LSAM's development and early deployment will inform refinements, helping engineers address the unique thermal, mechanical, and performance stresses associated with near-space operations. Beyond domestic defense priorities, the LSAM-2 project is also a strategic move in the international arms market. Global tensions and the proliferation of missile technology have sharply increased demand for advanced air defense systems. Hanwha Aerospace is positioning LSAM-2 as a viable export option, citing its cost efficiency and high-performance metrics as key selling points. The company hopes the program will serve as a gateway to global partnerships and broader adoption of South Korea's military technologies. Ultimately, the LSAM-2 isn't just another missile, it's a statement. A declaration that South Korea intends to stand on equal footing with global military tech leaders, defend itself with homegrown innovation, and reshape the landscape of modern air and missile defense.